Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be making the Beach Hut gift box die set. So I'll be showing you exactly how to put this together. Now I've got a couple of variations of this one. Here I've got a lovely summer house. It is a gift box as well, so it opens up just like that. And that tucks in there. And we also have a beach hut. Again, this opens like that. So I have put popped the roof on slightly differently to make a different sort of closure. So this one here is the beach hut. And you get all of these lovely accessories here to, um, to uh, accessorize your gift box with the nautical sort of seaside theme and they, again you can use the bunting for more of a summer house theme and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a birdhouse. So this is the die set here, you get 22 dies so let's open this up, get everything out that we need and I'm going to go, go through exactly what you're going to be needing to cut. So I have here a magnetic sheet from my stash, I've just popped it onto some white cardstock just to keep all of my little dies under control. And here all the bigger dies, they can just be left to fend for themselves in the envelope. Unless you're really good at losing large dies, which I'm I'm okay at. I don't I don't lose the large dies. These are the ones that go missing for me. Okay, so let's have a quick go on what we're going to be needing to do. Okay, so I've die cut out already two of this die here. Let's turn this over. There we go. Two of these, and I've used the papers from a very British summer, 12 by 12 pack. So two of those. Now this one here is the roof. Let's try and make some space here. Right, this one is the roof. So I've cut that out already. I'm going to use navy cardstock for this one. And you get this die here. This is the larger out of the two rectangles. So that is a die there for the roof. So you can add some more mats. So I've gone back to the paper pad and I've chosen a more florally one and this one here these are the joins so you need three of those and I've added my tape already and I have two of this smaller rectangle there out of the navy cardstock okay let's get assembling there is one um, cut that I need to make to make my birdhouse and that is this circle die here you get that in the die set but if you'd like to add a frame around the circle to make it a little bit more decorative you could just use any nesting circle die set and use the smaller of those circle dies on here but I'm just going to use the one circle die because that is what you get in the die set and again this fits through a standard size die cutting machine as well so I'm just going to quickly grab my big shot I've got a few things resting on it okay but I did die cut all of this out of my A4 machine because I could put multiple dies onto my A4 sheet but again this will fit through a standard big shot so I'm just going to pop that just there and I'm really into birdhouses at the moment we have a birdhouse in our garden it's the first year we've had a birdhouse and some birds have gone in and they've actually made a nest and there's little baby bird little chicks in there at the moment and you can hear them chirping as you walk past it's so cute so we've decided maybe next year we're going to try and pop a camera inside the bird box so that we can actually see the little baby birds and we see the mummy and daddy coming in and out as well to feed them okay so here is our little hole so that's going to be the front of our bird box okay so now we can start assembling just remember to put your circle in before we assemble okay I'm gonna have to tidy up here because I'm making a bit of a mess okay we're going to start off with this section here so I'm going to take off the double-sided tape for that and I'm going to stick that on just there do the same on this one There we go, so now we have all of our tabs. 
and now we can add this on so this is um slightly longer on this side so it's not a square it is a rectangle so the rectangle goes along the side join just there now the second one that I've die cut out is optional if you wanted to pop it in the centre there if you wanted to add some extra decoration okay so we are now going to do the opposite side now there we go so you should have something that now looks like that so what I'm going to do now next is take up all of my tape I'm using tape here because it's theoretically easier to demonstrate and quicker to demonstrate with but you can use glue if you are used to glue for your construction okay it's now literally just a simple case of joining everything together using the tabs there we go and then if you want to add this to the bottom you can do you can even cut this from the patterned paper as well to make it nice and decorative inside. That's the wrong way. There we go. And that's going to cover the tabs nicely. Okay. Do I use this glue? No, I don't think I will. Okay, you needed to cut four of these. I cut one less. Let's do that now. Okay, so on this fourth one, you only need to add tape <coughs> or glue to one side of the panel there we go just one side and with the, the tape press it down give it a really good press because that's going to push the adhesive right into the fibers and it's just going to create a really nice stick okay so now we're ready for the next stage so we are going to add the flap with both of the adhesive parts on it to this end here there we go now those flaps need to be on the inside there so they don't stick together and then what we're going to do is just fold this over just like that try try to get this pushed in a little bit because it naturally wants to go outwards so what I want to do is I'm going to put this on the dry side first where there's no sticky and I'm going to make sure that everything is lined up where that the, so basically the points go straight into that crease line and then I'm going to pop that down there we go so we should now have something that looks like that so what you can do now is make your decision on how you want this to open so you can have have it open up fully like that one or we can glue down this section and that section like that okay so now for the second tab because this needs to tuck in and stay closed that's not going to stay open what we're going to do is take off our adhesive now this is going to be adhesive side up so the dry non-sticky end 
is going to go in here so it's just going to sit on top like so that's closed so you can't see there we go so it's just it's just resting like that so make sure you have everything lined up as you gently close this there we go that has taken on and the best way to get this to stay closed as in any box is to have these folded in slightly this folded quite nicely like that and then that is going to tuck in there just like so there we go and if you do find that this does kind of move out you can actually go ahead and glue those on so I'm going to do that now so that's just going to take a couple of moments to dry if you want to you can fold this backwards and then just get your finger in just to give that a bit of a press There we go, there is our bird box, almost done. So now we need to concentrate on... Normally bird boxes have a little stick or a little pole or something for them to rest on. So I have um, cut out, here it is, I lost it for a moment. I have cut out one of these. So this measures, if I could find my ruler. This measures one and a quarter inches and I'm thinking I'm, I am going to trim this down. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors, make this a little shorter and I'm just gonna warm up, heat up my glue gun. I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm gonna curl this just to help this start off just like that. And then we're gonna um, glue this together just along the edge there and then that's going to be glued onto there so while that is heating up let's get these on Okay, so I think this is now ready. So I'm just gonna roll this up. Might be easier using a little spike or something like that just to get that started. Now, if you have a tiny little stick or a bit of doweling anything like that then obviously that would be better but this is how you would do it from cardstock I try not to burn myself now Okay, I can tell here there's a good side and a bad side, so that's not the not so good side. This is the better side, so that is going to be what's going to be glued onto there. So you can pop a little hole in there for that to join onto. I'm just going to see how we get on with the glue, the hot glue. And I'm going to have the join at the bottom so it's going to be less visible. And if I have any problems with it, I will add a hole to poke that through. And there we have 
our little birdhouse. Isn't that really cute? So another thing what you can do is you can add it onto a pole of the bottom and really make a feature out of this box. And again, you can pop a tea light in there and it'll be a nice, um, nice little uh, bird box lantern. And again, think about Christmas. This is gonna make a really nice birdhouse um, Christmas decoration. If you pop a robin on there somewhere, it's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, so that is the Beach Hut die set. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up. Everything that I've used is listed down below in the description box. And I'll see you again next time.